Leaders in tech are burning out at an absurd rate. Control-Alt-Delete with Lisa Jury is a no BS conversation with one of the top female executives who spent over 25 years in Silicon Valley. If you're suffering from the always-on, never-good-enough, we'll-replace-you-today machine called the tech space, this show's for you. Here's Lisa. I just read an article today that made me sad and also inspired me to speak out today. So I'm here today to talk to you about what's really going on behind the scenes. It's not like I don't know this. I know this, but putting it in print and reading it stirred something up for me today. And so for those of you that are leading teams and organizations, this message is for you. And for those of you that don't manage people and are doing your best to show up at work every day, I have some tips for you too. So the McKinsey report just came out in conjunction with the Lean In organization. And basically what they were talking about is, you know, the burden that's being felt by everyone, including the most most felt by working parents and working moms in particular. I'm a working mom. I know this excuse me, my throat is raspy a bit. So I'm a little bit um, coming to you from my personal stance, as well as um, the stance of the employees and organizations that I help in tech. I'm Lisa Dury, and I'm the founder and executive coach at RLD Group. And we help leaders in tech get kick-ass results at work, build high-performing teams, and be present for the moments that matter. And that tagline, that is really about Um, the work that we do and why we do it. And I can tell you, it's really hard for people right now. I've been speaking a lot about burnout lately and burnout is one of the things that's keeping employees up at night and it's in the way of productivity. And the truth of the matter is we can't keep doing things the way we've been doing them. It's not working. The world has changed. And for you as a leader to be aware of these six things that are keeping employees up at night, it's gonna help arm you and equip you to be able to get the high-performing teams, to get the kick-ass results, and to be present for the moments that matter for you and for those you lead and love. And my husband is here right now because this is real life, and he's bringing me lunch because he's amazing. Thank you, honey. So um, this is exactly what's happening for your employees right now. I didn't plan this, okay? But what's happening is everyone's working together to get things done, okay? So your employees, here's the six things they're worried about according to the uh, McKinsey report with Lean In. Anxiety over layoffs, burnout, mental health, childcare, homeschooling, distance learning responsibilities, physical and mental health worries of themselves and their loved ones, and financial insecurity. Now you wanna think about an employee who's trying to do the best they can for your next tape out, your next product launch, your next virtual customer engagement, your next closing of a sale, With all of that, one or more of those things running in the background all of the time for your employees, it's no wonder that things are getting even harder. I personally, as you just saw, am blessed that my husband and I can both be home while my daughter distance learn. I am hashtag grateful, as I say, every day that we can do this together. And let me tell you, it's bumpy. So one of the things that's worked for me as a business owner, a coach, and a mom is to really plan out the schedule with my husband and my daughter and take a look every day and figure that out. And as a leader, one of the things you can do right now for anyone who is caring for a loved one or helping with distance learning or running the distance learning in their house is be very flexible with the schedule. Talk to your employees about what they're up against, where that sweet spot is. Um, A really good example I saw the other day, I had sent someone an email And the autoresponder that came back in their signature that said, you know, offline daily, one to two. I'm making up the time, but it was exactly in the email signature, which signaled to me they had had the conversation with their manager. The manager was supportive of that time out of the office and that they were able to be fully present with their family or their child or their loved one. So one tip for you, excuse me with my throat, one tip for you, have the conversation about the schedule. The second thing to think about with all of that going on for people, it's not just a bunch of links that your HR team sends to people that says, hey, here's all the resources for you. People are overwhelmed. As the leader, you're going to need to lean in 
and not only know that those links are out there, but familiarize yourself with the resources being made available by your company and have that at the ready so that when you're talking to your employees and they say, I'm really struggling with childcare or my, I need some flexibility or um, I'm thinking about taking uh, time off. You need to know what the programs and policies are that are available, not just kick it over to HR. HR is trying to figure it all out too. You as a leader with a heart and a head, bring all that into this conversation because you wanna talk about loyalty and engagement. That's where the rubber meets the road. It's you understanding what's available and making that not only known for yourself, but easier to find and navigate for your employees. Giving them a bunch of links is not helping anyone right now. It's one more thing to do. And people don't need one more thing to do, which is going to lead you to my next tip. What can you take off people's plates right now? How can you really focus on what matters? I mean, we're getting to the end of the year right? We're coming into the holidays. We have Halloween in the United States and people are even just trying to figure out how do I make this a special time when I can't see my loved ones, I'm you know restricted from travel and folks in everyone's navigating differently. So think about what you can take off people's plates. Don't schedule meetings at the beginning of the day when kids are getting into school or, you know, critical all hands meetings at times that you know your employee base isn't gonna be fully present. And here's another thing, I think I'm gonna rant for a minute. Don't make everybody be on camera all the time. You know, that working parent who's just trying to get everything done may not wanna be on camera because they don't feel that they're at their best right now. And you wanna be able to allow them to be, you know, to show up or maybe even be on a headset, not stuck at a computer. Uh, you can put a load of laundry in and still be on a phone call once in a while, Do you know? So be really clear about when cameras on is necessary and when people can have the flexibility to not be on camera, you got to trust your people. You got to create the space for them to understand the expectations and where the flexibility is. And I know everybody feels like I need to make sure people are online. I need to watch over it. My reputation's on the line. You know where your reputation's really going to um, make its mark with the leadership team that you're on, your shareholders, your customers. It's results with people that are engaged and energized and people are struggling right now. So wherever you can find flexibility, whenever you can make it um, not mandatory to be on camera, whenever you can be clear about the schedules that your employees are dealing with outside of work so that they are not feeling like they're missing anything. Um, if you can give anyone the luxury of a couple of hours of downtime, even once a week, you know, block it on the calendar and then give them back the time. Let them just have a moment for themselves. Um, establish a walking meeting. I, I mean, I can go on and on, okay? The reason I'm sharing all these tips and almost fire hosing you with them is I want you to feel inspired and I want you to know that it's possible even in today's environment to create the space for high performance, kick-ass results and being present for the moments that matter. It requires intentional, purposeful action. It's gonna require you to be innovative and creative and it requires you to not push the responsibility off of the programs and services being provided, but rather educate yourself. You might need them too, by the way, right? But to educate yourself so that when you're having these conversations with your employees, they understand not only you are, you're aware, but also you can help point them to the right thing because people are drowning, right? They're drowning in worry. So let's do this list again, right? Anxiety over layoffs, burnout, mental health, child care, homeschooling responsibilities, physical and mental health of loved ones, and financial insecurity. You think you're going to have an engaged workforce with all of that running around? It's not possible. So what can you do today to create the connection with your employees and give even the smallest bit of flexibility and empathy to what they're facing? It's going to require you to be more human at work. Your head and heart need to show up. That's what's going to make the difference here. And I can tell you that from my own personal experience, um, I wore the badge of honor of overachiever, high um, capacity, right? Busy, 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 get it all done. I took a tremendous amount of pride in not taking vacation time at times. And I've written about this before, but let me tell you, there was a time that I ended up in the emergency room because I thought I was having a heart attack. Now this, I don't even remember what year this was. It was probably 2015, but I'm in the emergency room and I didn't tell my husband because I didn't want him to worry 
I brought my laptop with me and my colleague was with me because we had a big presentation the next day. And I have a picture and I will dig it up and I will share it with you. Actually comment in this live cast. If you want to see the picture, comment below and I'll, I'll pull it up for you guys after the fact and post it. I took a picture of us working on my PowerPoint while they had me in the emergency room ruling out a heart attack because I wanted my boss to know that he could count on me to get it done no matter what. And you know what? When I look back at that, uh, it makes me sad. That's not a badge of honor. That is a badge of obligation. That's not a badge of engagement or loyalty. That's a badge of, you know, wanting things to be perfect and never having space or room for the inevitable. So if you are packing your schedule for your employees, if your projects are squeezed even tighter, if you just keep adding more action items right now, it's quite possible there's someone on your team that's going to end up in the emergency room with their laptop working on something. And I, my gut tells me you wouldn't want that for anybody you love or lead. So take it from me, having been there, been there, done that, got the t-shirt. What I know is that the conversation between you and your employees, if you're the senior vice president, you know, your leadership team, if you're the CEO, you know, your board and your leaders, if you're the frontline manager, your first level employees have the conversation about what's really important. Look for ways to make the biggest impact and then find some space for quiet rest and rejuvenation. Maybe you don't need that meeting one night at 10 o'clock because you're trying to do global time zones. Maybe you find a different way to get the information out. Whatever you can do to give your employees the slightest break right now, it's very important. Um, I will link this report for you as well. And for those of you working parents out there trying to keep it all together, I see you. I am you. I'm, I'm doing it too. And what I know for sure is that the village that we used to have, right, we don't have right now because of social distancing and life in general. So make sure you're aware of what resources are available to you. Make sure you find that safe place to talk and brainstorm. Make sure, um, keep tuning in here because I'm going to keep sharing ideas to make life simpler and easier one step at a time. But I want to make sure you know that I see you. I see how hard you're working to keep it all together. I see how you're trying not to ask for help because you don't want to look weak or worry about if someone's going to worry about you getting the job done. I see you as leaders trying to make sure you have this really solid front for your employees and the leadership team above you. I see you as CEOs trying to keep it all together. I see it every day. And what I can tell you is everybody has one or more of these worries. And it's really important for you to get really clear about what that worry is for you and then put a plan in place to figure out how to navigate that for yourself, for those you lead and those you love. And if you want to have a conversation about it, there's a link in my LinkedIn. Schedule a 30-minute call. Let's hold some space for you to get clear about that. What I know for sure is you're not alone. And what you're feeling after all of these months, it's real, it's heavy, and you are resilient, you are innovative, you are creative, and you are more brilliant than you even know right now because you're tired. So when you're feeling that tired, give yourself the rest, ask for the help, even in the smallest amount, talk to your, your leaders on your team, talk to your family and your loved ones, delegate or reallocate workload figure out what's going to work within your environment and advocate for yourself. You can do this. I believe in you and I'm sending you the biggest heartfelt hug I have and just know I'm rooting for you and you're not alone. Take good care. That was great content, but let's be honest. If you don't get the support you need and start making changes in your life and work as a leader in tech, you can expect regret and burnout in the near future. Lisa can help you get kick-ass results at work without burning out so you can be present for the moments that matter to you and your loved ones. Take your first step at RebootWithLisa.com.